Traders, today we're going to talk about huge intraday movers and how you're supposed to be trading them. And there's nothing like a live example, as you can see right here in CAR. CAR is moving up, Avis, something that has to do with Google-related news. Google just signed a deal with them. I don't care. Look at the way it moves up. Huge. These are one-minute candles, high volume, and it's moving higher. Now, how are you supposed to be trading a stock like that? Well, the worst thing you can do is join right here, right now, because when you join an intraday mover like that, well, by the way, I know how you're feeling. You're feeling like, yes, I would love to join that. And if I, if, if Mayor didn't tell me to join it right here, I would have probably gained some, I don't know how much money from it going higher. As you can see right now, it looks great and probably you very sorry they didn't join that one, but you're not supposed to be doing that. You have to wait for pullback. Never ever trade a stock that moves up like that unless you see a very clear one minute candle pullback. I don't care if it's moving higher. I don't care if you could have been a millionaire in like a few seconds by a jet plane in like a few minutes or drive a Lamborghini in an hour. The worst thing that could happen to you right now is going long this stock because you never know where the pullback is going to be. Like, for example, if you would buy it right here, right now, and again, you never know. It could continue a few points higher. And look at it. It just reached a new high. Now, but at any point where you go long a stock like that, it could easily pull back a few points. The worst thing that could happen to you is that you go long exactly at the point where it pulled back and you're going to have like your worst nightmare, terrible, whatever in your lifetime, loser. You just don't want to do anything like that at all. Watch the way it moves up. Wait for it for a pullback. If you don't go to pull, get a pullback, don't join. Maybe now. This could be the pullback. How far would it go down? You never know. Just imagine what would have happened if you bought it right at the high point. I mean, just move down like 60 cents, as you can see from the highs. Would you hold for that long? I don't know. You could possibly have a stop loss there and lose a lot of money. And it could easily continue lower. So again, you do not trade anything that looks like that. You do not trade any upside movers or reversals, or, or sorry, or breakdowns, or anything like that, unless you see a pullback, and there's the first pullback. So you always wait for the first one minute pullback, and then you go long. Will you have it? I'm not sure you will. We'll wait. I'm just waiting right now to have my pullback, and of course, when I'm going to join this trade, if I'm going to have a pullback, if the volume is going to stay high, if I'm going to have a clear pullback, I'm going to join this trade with very low quantity. So here it is. It just moved down a little bit more than a dollar from the highs. I'm looking for a pullback. Right now, it looks to me right to go long over 28.50. That is is something I could consider a pullback. Look at it right now. If it moves over 28.50, I'm going to go long. I'm getting ready. Small size. 1,000 shares for me is a small size, like quarter size. Actually, I would prefer to go even smaller than that. 600 shares. Very risky. 50 cent stop loss at least, under 28. First target, here we go. Just touched 28.50. I went long. First pullback. You never ever go long unless you see a red candle and a very clear technical pullback. I just had my first pullback. Now, will I be, will I have any success in this trade? I have absolutely no idea. Very likely, yes, here it comes. It's very close to my target, which is close to 29. Once it gets to 29, if it does, I'm going to try and let it move over 29. I'm not sure it can because it's a whole number, but it did move earlier over 29, so there's a good chance it's going to do that. So I'm getting ready. I have 600 shares long. If it's going to go over the highs, here it goes, over 29. It's at my target right now. I'm getting ready for a partial, but I'll try and let it move over. There we go. It's over 29 now. Good. Any pullback now? Well, pulled back a little bit too quick. Over 29 again, here we go. Over the highs, great. Getting ready for my partial, about to take my partial now. Got you, baby. I just had a nice 60 cent or so partial on a 400 shares trade. 
Will it continue higher? I have absolutely no idea. I'm still holding 200 shares, hoping it's going to continue higher. But the lesson is very, very simple. You never join a stock that is moving up that quick, that much intraday news. You must wait for a pullback. You only trade the pullback. If it's long, like in this case, if it's going down and it's short, you wait for a pullback and you only join when you have a pullback. You never ever join anything that looks like this. You just have to wait for it to come down, have a nice technical pullback and then join. That's the only safest trade you can take because then you could have a stop loss right under the reversal and have your target and have your technical rules ready for you and help you get into this trade. If you ever join a trade like this, the way it just moved up earlier, you never know where the pullback's gonna come. And when the pullbacks come, it could be more than a point or even more than that. You just never ever knows. And then you could have a huge loser. So the best way to make money in the market is in fact, not coming to the point where you may have big losers. Always protect your money. That's the first tool in trading. Hope this lesson was interesting for you. Thank you very much for watching. Traders, I would love to hear your thoughts regarding this video. So let's have a discussion in the comments below. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, just go ahead and click subscribe. And if you like to learn trading, trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money, click right over here in order to learn more about my funded accounts program.